Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we have worked on the entire API part of our, if you haven't watched, make sure to watch it. In that I've explained every single thing which you have to do, all the models, all the routers, all the, all the controller function we have built. In this video, we're going to build the utility classes of our NFT, sorry, MetaMask clone. So that's what we're going to cover here. So here I'm into the project and now we're going to start working on the CSS files. Okay, so let's call it body. We have to target the body and we have to set the body width to 22 RAM. Then we have to target the margin zero and padding zero. So this is, this will remove the default styling to our element. Then we'll target this WebKit scroll bar and we have to hide it. Display none. Then we'll target the header component. We'll say header. It will be the display flex gap one RAM justify content space between align item center padding 0.5 ram 1 ram will target the header logo image width is going to be 40 pixels height 40 pixels border radius 0.5 ram will target the heading text align center margin 2 ram to em color rgb will take the font size 1.2 em We'll take the header network P. Border is only one pixel solid. Then we'll have the color. Then we'll have the font width to be bold. Padding 0.5 RAM, 1 RAM. Border radius 1 RAM. Display flex. Align item center. Justify content space between. Gap 0.3 RAM. Cursor pointer. We'll take the network component. We'll say network. Display none, position absolute, background color to our havoc this color, we'll have a width 200% and write zero. Text align center, we'll target the network, add style, padding 1 RAM, 8 RAM, margin top 1 RAM, we'll target the network title, font size 1.3 RAM, border 1 pixel solid, RGB color. We'll have the network item padding 0.5 RAM, 4 RAM, font size 0.9 RAM, display grid, grid template column 1FR, 3FR, cursor, pointer, place content start, target the home screen, we'll say home screen sign up, margin 0 auto, background color our second primary. Text align center, padding to RAM, display none. We'll come here, we'll target the home screen image with 100 pixels, height 100 pixels, home title, color RGB. We'll take the font size 1.2 EM, cursor pointer. We'll take the import account, connect wallet. We'll take the token, connect wallet. Will the transfer form connect wallet we'll take the create pop-up connect wallet and we'll take the home screen login connect wallet we'll take the home screen sign up connect wallet and we'll say padding to be one and six ram margin top one ram come down we'll target the home one home tab p asset item span list p we'll take the account data p we'll take the home header paragraph We'll take the home screen login paragraph. We'll take the home screen sign up paragraph. And we have to set the background to be our image linear gradient. And we'll set this width bound clip to text. And we'll say fill color to be transparent. Looks pretty good. Come here, target the home screen login. We'll say margin zero auto background color to be our second primary text align center padding to ram display block create pop-up to margin zero auto background color to be our primary then we have the text align center we'll have the padding to ram display none color rgb we'll have the text align center then we'll target the form we'll say transfer form 
display none then we'll say form display flex flex direction column gap 10 pixels padding left 2 em padding right 2 em padding bottom 0.4 em background color or primary color then we'll come down here we'll target the field display flex align item center justify content center gap 0.5 em border radius to 25 pixels padding 0.6 em border none outline none color white background color primary color then we'll have the box shadow to inset to pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel and we have the rgb color we'll come down we'll target the input icon we'll say height 1.3 em width is going to be 1.3 em fill we have the rgb color then we'll come down we'll target the input field we'll say background to be none border none outline none width is going to be 100 percent color going to be rgb then we'll have the form button display flex justify content center flex direction row margin top 0.25 em then we'll have the button padding 0.5 em then we'll have the padding left 1.1 em padding right 1.1 em then we'll have the border radius 5 pixels margin right 1.5 em border none outline none transition 0.5 second easy in out then background image linear gradient and we'll have this gradient color we'll have the color rgb we'll come down we'll target the button over effect we'll say background is going to be image linear gradient the same gradient but the different color we'll take the color rgb we'll come down we'll target the button to padding 0.5 em left 2.3 em padding right 2.3 em border radius 5 pixels border none outline none transition easy in out background image linear gradient and we'll have the primary color then we'll have the color they'll come down we'll target the button over effect we'll take the image linear gradient then we'll take the color to be rgb we'll come down and we're going to take the button 3 margin bottom 3 em padding 0.5 em border radius 5 pixels border none and this looks pretty and outline none transition 5 4.5 easy in out then we have the background image linear gradient we'll have the color rgb we'll come down we'll target the button 3 over effect background image linear gradient and we we'll take the color three pixels we'll come down we'll take this color background linear gradient and we'll take the border radius we'll take the transaction all 0.3 seconds and we'll take the card two we'll take the transition all 0.2 second we'll take the card two over effect transition form scale radius we'll come down we'll target the over effect box shadow 0 pixel 0 pixel, 35 pixel 1 pixel and we'll have the rgb color we'll take the notification small p and we'll set the color to be white text align center come here and simply come here we'll take the text decoration none close this one display none text area is going to be none we'll take the space and we'll say margin top is going to be 3 ram and then we'll work on the loader section because we have to design that we'll take the center to be display none by default justify content center align item center margin 0 auto we'll take the loader position relative with 54 pixels height 54 pixels border radius 10 pixels loader div 
we'll take the width 8% height 24% background will have this RGB will have the position absolute will have the left 50% top 50% opacity is going to be 0 border radius 50 pixels box shadow 3 pixels and we'll have the RGB color we'll have the animation fade is one linear infinity then we have to write the keyframe so it will start from opacity 1 uh, then it will go to opacity 0 0.25 we'll work on the loader we'll take this loader bar 1 so we have to target each bar individually and we have to define this property so I'll go a little faster here all we have to do is to change the variable so let me write it very quickly done with the entire loader now we have to work on the home page so we'll target the home and we have to say margin 0 auto we'll take the background color to be our primary color then we'll take this text align center and we have to give the padding 1 RAM and 2 RAM display none we'll come down and we have to target the home header this will say display flex justify content space between we'll say cursor pointer We'll target the home header image margin top 1 RAM width is going to be 5 pixels 50 pixels height is going to be 50 pixels home feature display grid grid template column is going to be repeat for 1FR gap 1 RAM we'll target the feature image image top 1 RAM width is going to be 20 pixels then we have the height 20 pixels We'll come down we'll target the home feature item p line height is going to be zero color primary and we'll take this home tabs display grid grid template column repeat three one of four we'll take the margin top one ram then we have to work on the assets so we'll take the asset item display grid grid template column repeat three one of four We'll take the align item center grid area 2 ram border top then we'll have the padding 1 ram and 0 we'll target the assets item image width is going to 20 pixels height is going to be 20 pixels border 1 pixel solid and we'll have the primary color green well border radius then we have the padding we'll come the activity display none We'll have the import token it will be display none then we'll have the go back it will be with 15 50 pixels and height is 50 pixels list style zero 
and we'll take this account data word wrap brickwork and we'll take the account data display flex none and we'll take this go home page display none we'll take this import account display none we'll take this list display grid grid template column 1fr 5fr border bottom one pixel solid and we'll have the primary green align item center then we'll take this end so this looks pretty good to me hope this and i think makes sense to all of you guys we have written the entire css for our metamask clone as a utility classes all we have to do is to simply pass this classes and we'll have our styling ready so we'll have this body we'll have this webkit scroll header header logo heading header network we have the networks network at style network title network item home screen home screen image home title this is the buttons connect wallet this is the home paragraph this is the home screen login create pop-up we have the transform this is the form we have the field we have input icons input field form buttons button one over effect button two button two over effect button three and button three over effect this is the card card two and card over effect card over the small notifications the anchor the text area space the loader and we have the loader devs this is the keyframe we have this is the all the bars we have targeted bar three four five this one is the sixth seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is the home page home header image feature feature image home items tabs assets activity tokens account account data home page import account list all of these classes we have built and this one is optional so cause this one and looks pretty good you can see we have written all the classes and hope things are making sense to all of you guys now the only thing is rest left is the html and the menace file so we have done with this api pop-up and style so looks pretty good so with that we are done with this entire css file and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have got an idea that what we have done and now comes the most easiest part because we have done all the hard work we have built the logic for the metamask we have built the back end part we have written the css and now we have to write this small code for the html and everything would be live after writing the html then we'll move to the manifest json file and then we'll deploy so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys if you have encountered any error make sure to rewatch the video because i have written everything very slowly and if you want to get the final code for comparing you can get it and you can compare your code for that with that i'm ending this video see you in the next video have a wonderful day